This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Pro boxer Torino Johnson getting ready for his world title eliminator on Friday against Sergey Dervinchenko. He's training under the watchful eyes of coach Ben Carter. Training camp couldn't be better than what we we experienced. We left no rock unturned. Uh, we put our hard work in, and we expect nothing but the best as a result. You know, we're going in there. We know our opponent is a is a quality fighter. And indeed, you know, uh, we like it when it's like that. We wouldn't have it any other way. So, uh, of course, you know, Survey, Survey Derenchenko, this coming Friday, you know, he should be expecting an awful lot of greatness coming from Toriano Johnson. As Reno gets set for action, he's receiving a lot of support from here at home. Toriano is up and ready for this fight. As a matter of fact, I believe that he's more ready for this fight than we really think. I spoke with him this morning and doing our daily inspiration, you know, I'd say to him, Reno, you are God's champion, um, you're the David, and I know that you're going to win this fight. He's been training real hard. Um, he had a rest day on yesterday, he told me um, he had several interviews, but his mind is in gear and his body is in top shape. I believe history is going to be made there. Torian is 21 and 1, he's 10 and 0. Torian have the experience, he have the amateur background. He is ready. This has got to be a knockout. I've seen this royal robe, and it's adorned with the, um, the colors of the Bahamas. It's, it's royal blue with gold and the black headpiece. Truly, coming out of that locker room, he's going to stun the crowd just with his apparel. It's magnificent. We start right here in the Bahamas, right in that same gym there, that same national training center. Toriano Johnson is one of those homegrown. You know, you get as time moves on and you move up, you have to move over for that international experience. But Bohemian put the first glove on him. Ray Minus Jr. Team Bahamas continuing to train for the CAC Bodybuilding and Fitness Championships in Mexico next month. Paul Wilson will compete in the men's welterweight division. Nothing really changed, you know, this limited amount of um, the foods that you intake, which is like sodium, a, a lot of excess sugars. And so the, the diet is what really alters your body. And so that's what I'm basically doing right now. I'm watching my body and I'm just trying not to make sure I lose too much muscle at the same time, but I want the lines to stay or uh, become sharper over time. And so it's a lot, it's a lot of science that goes behind body putting that a lot of people don't realize. It's like the Mr. Olympia for us because at that at, at that competition is where they, they have a pro cards to go to the Mr. Olympia and so you get the best of the best from every country. And so you actually go in there blind for you but you do your best, you prep the, the, the best you can and see what the, the judges give you. I don't really look for my competitors but I look at um, past achievements that I have um, already attained looking at the physique I had in 2015, which, was, which I competed in last time. And I look at my physique now and I made dr dr um, dramatic changes from since then. Three Bahamians in the pool today at the World University Games in Taipei. In the women's 200 meter breaststroke, Laura Morley just missing out on a spot in the semifinals, touching the wall in 233.77. Aubrey Higgs also swam the 200 breaststroke, clocking 234.91. Gershwin Green, meantime, contesting the man's 100 meter freestyle. He too failed to advance, touching the wall in 53.30. Our junior tennis players back on the court yesterday in Trinidad and Tobago. Jacoby Bain won his opening round boys singles match 6-2 and 4. Dante and Brister teaming with Juan Colado from Guatemala for a 6-4, 6-2 win in the first round of boys doubles. As for the girls, Sydney Clark and Megan William from St. Lucia. They also advanced 6-1 in love. Africa Smith and Sine Hewitt from Barbados not as fortunate losing in three sets 6-3, 6-7 and 10-2. From the minor league baseball diamond last night, Lucius Fox, 2 for 4, a run scored. Charlotte down St. Lucie, 6 3. Anthony Seymour, also 2 for 4, a double, a run scored in Florida's 5 2 win over Dunedin. The New Providence Softball Association back on the diamond last night. The Lady Truckers and Platinum Pool Sharks in a high scoring affair. Truckers pull it out 22 18. The Extreme Athletic Summer Basketball Camp now into its 12th year. The Temple Christian Base Program features kids ages 5 to 17. And as our Jared Higgs tells us, it's all about the technique. 
Coach Kino Demerit knows that the root of any great ball player is a strong technical foundation. For that reason, his extreme athletics basketball camp uses every resource at his fingertips to challenge the players while enhancing their technical skill set. The kids need to really be developed properly in the art of dribbling, shooting, um, passing. And here at the camp, we work on a lot of those more form work, um, technical work, learning how to dribble properly, ball control. Of course, most kids in the country are enjoying their last days of freedom before the start of the school year, but not Coach Kino's kids. We know a lot of camps um, are actually done by August, so this is something for the kids to continue to do, especially going into school to sharpen their skills going into school. Among the older players taking part in the camp are 14-year-old Rachel Roll of St. Augustine's College and 15-year-old Kenton Wallace from the Mangrove Key High School in South Andres. Both of these young athletes have seen improvements in their game over the past few weeks. So far it helped me with my ball handling skills. I can shoot with my left hand now, I'm right handed. And if you don't know how to lay up, by the end of the camp you will know how to lay up. Yeah, I've been playing for just about two to three years and Coming to this camp has really improved my skills and I would like to come back next year. And the doors that may open through their hard work makes it all worth it for Coach Kino. I'm just hoping to see them excel more in basketball and to see them take this to another level. Because the talent that I've, I've seen at the camp, the kid, girls and boys, um, I think that they can go far and we have a really good future here in the Bahamas in basketball. The camp wraps up this Friday ahead of next Monday's start to the school year. Jared Higgs, ZNS Total Sports. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.